Hello guys, it's Grafer and welcome to a Fortnite video. So um I'm gonna do this in a style that I usually don't do and that is live commentary. So uh yeah. Reason being I don't have any gameplay stocked up, it's that easy. Um anyway I'm playing solos, we'll see how uh how good or how how bad I'll do. Anyway, um point of this video is to discuss the Fortnite situation. So this will become clearer once I start talking about it. Uh, so yeah, anyway, uh, let's dive straight into it. And let's actually just dive out of this bus as well. Um, okay, so basically what I mean with the Fortnite situ uh, situation is the, the deal with Fortnite on my channel. Now, I've said multiple times that I am still at heart the Call of Duty channel and I will uh, keep uploading that. Problem is, I don't really have any motivation for Call of Duty right now. I mean World War 2 isn't the worst Call of Duty game. There's definitely a lot of things with it. I I, I don't really know how to say it. I mean there's a couple of stuff, a couple of things with the game that, that I don't like but I mean that's with every Call of Duty right? Um, so yeah uh, Whereas this game, I feel like I, I don't know, it has more, let's say, replay value, I guess. I mean, there's a bigger skill gap, skill ceiling. Basically, this thing, th this game has a lot of uh, things that, that are focused on the longevity of this game. Are you going to play a game... Where you can play for a week and then be like quote unquote the best player in the game? Hell no. You're gonna play that, a game like this where you can play for months and still improve. Now that's true in, in a lesser fashion for Call of Duty. But still, I feel like this game has the legs on Call of Duty uh, in that respect. Um, I mean, I've been playing this since the end of... Season 2, uh, that was semi, well, Season 2 was mostly on uh, on PC. Uh, has someone been here? Oh shit. Got another player, boys. Come on! No! He wasn't even looking at me! Suck a dick, mate. Of course, there's a second guy. I want to see him get killed. He's playing against a max level Omega, so... Yeah, fuck you, bitch. Anyway, so what I was saying is, this game has so much to learn. You have to master building if you want to be a good player. You have to master, well, basically aiming, but that's trivial, I guess. That's what most uh, shooters do <laughs> at the moment. You have to learn how to aim, how to shoot. You have to learn snipers. It's kind of Battlefield-like, a bit less than Battlefield, but... You have to learn to account for the bullet drop, for well, you have to lead your shots. It's such a different experience to Call of Duty. I mean, in Call of Duty after, I don't know, um, let's say two or three months, on certain maps, you'll have done every encounter that, that was possible. You'll have done everything. Whilst, okay, I'm gonna land tilted, fuck this. Uh, whilst in, in games like like this, you can play for half a year, a year, and every match is still different because the circle ha has a well, the circle is different, uh, the circle evolves differently, um, the bus has a different path. You, you choose to drop in different places. There's different loot in these places. Not a single gunfight is the same. Uh, I mean, and every I mean, gunfights in this game can go for a long time. I, I mean, I've seen build battles that are over two minutes long. Once you look at Call of Duty, and what do you get? Um, yeah, if you're lucky, 10 seconds max. Most of the time, not even that. Why? Because you just... Okay, I'm not gonna take these nades, but this is gonna get me killed. Well, what, I, what I was saying 
uh, in Call of Duty, you only need a couple of shots to kill someone. Here, you need a f you need a fuck ton of shots. I mean, it's a it's a basic truth. Um, you need a lot of shots. Most of your shots won't hit. So, gotta be careful. So, you just there's so many variables in this game. You just can't count for everything. Uh, you, you'll change your playstyle on whether the guy you're fighting is a builder or. At, I mean, in the beginning, you, you don't even know how they're pl how they're gonna play. So, it's just so different to. Oh my god, that's a thermal. Nice. <laughs> um, I mean, there are just so many variables you just can't. I mean, every as I said, every gunfight will will be different, and you have to play accordingly. This is trippy as hell. So, I think this game might have a uh, a long life. That's my best guess. Am I 100% sure on that? No, not at all. We've said about Call of Duty that that, uh, that the next year's game is, is gonna have a long life. Most of the time I'm wrong though in minutes. I, I mean, it's a basic fact that Call of Duty is, tries to be a one year game, but most of the time it, it ends up being half a year or three quarters of a year at most. What games have survived uh, for at least a year? I'm gonna say the Black Ops games, mostly. Those are the games that people like to play the most. So the next thing in Fortnite is that it's much easier to do uh, FML style videos. So I love making FML because it's just it's not scripted at all, or it usually isn't. Uh, it's just fun to record. Uh, it's something you do casually. If you force it, no one's gonna like it. Who the, who the hell likes forced uh, comedy? I mean, if it's a skit, okay, yeah, that, that's kind of forced, but that's acted. Uh, what we're trying to do is just show the funny moments we have while we're, uh, while we're just hanging hanging around doing something playing with friends that's what this gaming thing is about you're playing with friends you you get funny moments you laugh together you lose together you win together um, and that's what it's all about so games like Call of Duty I mean a I've got way more friends playing Fortnite uh, and we can play cross-platform on this, can't do it on Call of Duty, at least, not yet. Um, and it's so much easier to get funny moments, because Call of Duty, I know my funny moments would usually just boil down to quads and such. Because what, what funny things do we get in Call of Duty? Barely any. Most funny things we can get are, um, are basically... I know, glitches, and if they happen, then well, I guess it's your lucky day. So going back to the FM, to FML, um, I've done three videos of, on it right now. Um, they're basically just funny moments, uh, and whilst we were in Valencia with the FML gang, um, we talked over a couple of things, and... Uh, and how to improve this series going forward. And um, thing is, it's annoying for, I guess, both for you and for me, that everything is in Dutch. I mean, I do subtitle it, but that's half of, I mean, that's over half of the time. Uh, in one hour of subtitling, I can do three to four minutes, depending on, on how much dialogue there is. And... I mean, we, we've set this, uh, I mean, we've decided that maybe we should record in English, um, which kind of goes against the, the forced arguments I, I gave you. 
but it, I mean, in the end, it's only the language you're speaking that's being forced. Our humor and everything is probably just gonna, gonna stay and the funny moments are there to stay, so uh, nothing's gonna change about that, probably. Um, so then, what else have we decided? Um, yeah, nothing that, that we decided, just something that I decided to do. I'm gonna switch editing programs for FML because Sony Vegas just can't handle the file sizes. I mean, for editing videos just like this one, I probably won't have any issues. Fingers crossed, because I know that I just jinxed myself, probably. Um, but I I will keep using Vegas for videos, uh, for just for regular commentaries and everything. But that style doesn't seem to work for FML. I um, think for the last FML, that was 2 hours and 15 minutes of footage boiled down to 15 minutes. Which was... Uh, split into two video files, overall footage, because it was two recording days, and that ended up... Okay, that's already looted, never mind. Um, that was about, I don't know, 21, 22, tw maybe 23 gigabytes of raw footage. Sony Vegas doesn't handle big file size as well. Even when editing off an SSD with Vegas install on the HDD, but I've tried it again after reinstall of Vegas, I did see that guy there, um, after reinstall of Vegas onto an SSD, still the same. So that's an underlying problem with Vegas, hence why I decided to go with After Effects. Um, so I'll have to learn it, so I'll do my best. Um, but the thing I'll do is I'll just do the same as before, I'll every clip that I want I'll cut out using uh, After Effects, I'll crossfade them and every I'll do the transitions between the clips. Uh, but everything else, I'll probably keep using Sony Vegas. Um, so that'll, so I, I mean, I'll have to render it in After Effects in a high bitrate, high enough so we don't get a quality loss. And that's basically it. Um, that's my plan of action at the moment. Okay, this has been... Yeah, thank you. Oh, that was lag. Um, that's basically how I'm gonna deal with it. Is there a guy in a tree there? Oh no, it's just a leaf sticking out. Um, so that's how FML is going to continue. Uh, and for videos, I'm just gonna try to do Call of Duty if I can find any motivation to play World War 2 at the moment because I don't know, I've, I've grinded it a lot with, with Chrome and, and everything, I kind of feel like I'm burned out a bit on it and yeah, it's not a nice feeling to have, especially when you know it's till October, so that's uh, that's still four months away from the next Call of Duty and yeah, okay, yeah this recording the beta, that is. But yeah, I mean, it's still a long ways off. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna kind of switch to Fortnite at the moment. Maybe some other games. Um, I mean, I've been thinking about this. I'll talk, I'll talk about it with them. But FML doesn't just play Fortnite. I mean, we play League of Legends together. Well, we started playing League of Legends together. Uh, play Paladins, so... That means we also play Realms Royale, which I might do sometime. Um, but that's every, that's all on PC, so recording on PC is with OBS, smaller file size for same quality, and that guy just built a vampire tower. Um, so yeah, I'll discuss it with them. Maybe maybe we'll we'll do like just maybe FML will just be funny moments of the group instead of just focused on Fortnite bit of widening the scope um, and in the end we're not straying away from games that we uh, that are not a uh, staple of my channel I mean I still read Call of Duty and Call of Duty isn't that far away from Overwatch Paladins and Overwatch are kind of the same game face it um, so any enemies I'm still staying close to, to my roots uh, a battle royale. I mean, it's. I know it's a hype at the moment, and people tend to accuse YouTubers of just 
rolling uh, I mean rolling all with the hype but I mean that only gets you so far um, I you can fake excitement and hype for the game but in the end uh, if you do that people will latch on to you you I mean people won't enjoy your content as much and in the end it doesn't matter how many views you get I mean, if you do it for money, I guess it. I guess it does. But the, the only thing that should matter is how much you enjoy making the content. Uh, if you have two viewers that that return regularly, or fifty thousand or a million viewers that watch your videos daily, it doesn't matter. The, the guy who gets two viewers every day. Uh, but makes the content he enjoys making versus the guy that, that gets 50,000 views on content that he actually doesn't like. That two viewer guy is the lucky one. He's the one that will enjoy his footage so and enjoy making it. Uh, and who's not going to get burnt out as easily on, on YouTube. So, I mean, I've been doing this shit for six years, give or take, I think. Or five and a half. I think it's five and a half. Whatever. I've been doing this for so long, I've seen a lot on YouTube, I've been basically around everything that could have happened in it, on this community. Uh, I've been around people switching their uh, their channels around, whether that was for a good or a bad reason, I'm, I'm gonna keep out of that argument, but I, I've seen, I've just seen so much happen to Call of Duty. And YouTube, I know how how everything should be and how people feel about their content. Oh, there's lag on the server. Why would that be? Um, so yeah, I mean, okay, this got philosophical real quick. Uh, I do apologize for that. But okay, there's a guy building there. Okay, let's get to him. We're nearly at the end. I don't really care for the win. Um, I just care for this skill. So basically... I'm just gonna keep making the content I want to make, that I enjoy making, even if if my subs don't like it. I mean, yeah, okay, yeah, that, that's, I guess, a bummer for the both of us. But I think that is a decision that's made for, I mean, that's the best decision, I think. I mean, if I would decide that I I want to be a, a Dota 2 player now, I just totally switch up and only play Dota 2, only upload Dota. Not, not probably, some of you will watch the first video, but then might decide like, I don't like this, so what then? Get the skill. Boom. Uh, oh fuck! Oh shit! Kimmy's going off, boys. Do you want me to, to keep talking about philosophical shit and how I'll always stay the same? Okay, for shit on pins. Um, because I mean, I'll say it again and again until I, I mean, you could, I guess you could say until I prove my point. That's not really the case, but um, so yeah, I'll just keep making the videos I want. I'll keep uploading Fortnite, try to incorporate a bit of Call of Duty, maybe other games. We'll see. That's the future of my channel. Uh, and everything that follows in this video will probably be of this match if I do end up getting kills or getting a win, maybe. I don't know. I don't care. Um, so yeah. Hey, anyway, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed. My name is Mickey Murphy, as always. I'm signing off. See ya.